Hi and welcome to today's video which is uh, I'm going to be filming my empties for May um, I've got a bag here full of stuff I'm just going to randomly pick items up rather than put them in specific order and I'll place them on a table near to me because I've already got stuff that I need to be throwing away so um, I thought I'd better do it because it is the 3rd of June as I speak so the first item has taken several months to use up and it is L'Occitane um, shower oil in rose. Now some shower oils foam quite well, this doesn't. So um, either use a tiny, I'm not sure whether you use a tiny amount and, and it doesn't foam or I've tended to use a bit more. But even so this has taken a good four months or so to use up and it had a lovely rosy fragrance. It didn't up upset my skin and I use it in the bath so I'll stand in the bath uh, and wash wash myself down and then rinse it off in the bath water but it, I do love rose um, so uh, yeah I love that product and then I've also got some Sea and Spa Cleanse Epsom uh, and Himalayan Salts in Pink Gin now, I think I get these I'm not sure I think I get them from Home Bargains and these are quite big crystals big salt crystals and these were a pinky shade yeah, they, they smell quite berry scented, if you know what I mean. Um, I suppose like a pink gin, really, really nice. And then I've got a Cousins Marshmallow Skies. Uh, that foams very, very well, and it has a, like a fruity sort of scent. Really like that one. And then I've used up a Sol de Janeiro, and this is the Coco Cabana Cream, which is an off-white cream. It's, a, it's, I'd say, a bit more gel-like than the original Boom Boom cream. It, it, there's some translucency to it, but it is a rich cream, and it's supposed to moisturise for up, up to 72 hours. So it has a creamy, like a milk chocolatey um, fragrance to it. Just, yeah, with coconut. I really like it. It, it may be a bit heavy in very warm weather, and it is quite rich, but I've, I have been able to use it all up. Um, it's taken a, a couple of months to use up, um, and I use that with other body lotions as well. So yeah, that's finished up. I've got more left, because I've got this on Lux Plus, which is a European site that sells direct to the UK, and there's no extra taxes, so there is an office based in the UK. So I, and I got this for around £12, believe it or not. And then I have um, an Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix, which is one of their most advanced um, uh, creams. There is one that's very, very expensive, like a couple of hundred pound a pot, which I haven't tried. But uh, this one is the Pro Collagen Cream. And with the Matrix, it's a bit more firmer in texture and it's yellower. And it does smell herbally. Uh, but I really do like this. I think it is an improvement or enhancement to the Pro Collagen Night Cream. But I do love this. I got this in a box with other Elemis products a while ago. Really like that. Then I have another bath salts in Mango by Sea and Spa. And these were, were big crystals that were very bright, bright yellow. Really nice. I did enjoy using them. Then I have some cotton rounds from Liqueura, which is Aldi, and they're nice enough. Then I have got Declior Gel Prologene, or Prologene Gel. Now, this is in a super size. It's 400 mil. It's normally 100 mil, and they are expensive. I think the 100 mil is around 40 pound. And it's a green gel, and it was developed um, in the 70s to treat people with burns. And I think it was the first product by um, Declior. So it's supposed to help tighten skin. Although I know with people with burns, they generally have tightened skin that they need to relax. But um, I like it. I'm not going to say it, do, it does wonders for me because I'm probably past all hope with my skin. But I do like using it. I think it does have a slight um, toning effect. Um, and it's probably the active ingredients that are in it. But I really do like it. This is one of three that I've got. So I'm using another one at the moment. And it does take me a few months to, to use up. Then I have an a Alpha H liquid gold in rose. Uh, this is an exfoliator. It's quite a strong exfoliator. Um, so I just would use this once or twice a week. So it's taken me a long, long time to finish up. 
it has uh, a little cap and you dispense one or two drops on or a few drops onto a pad that's what I do or you can put it onto clean hands and rub it onto clean dry face um, it doesn't say you wash off um, it must only last so long I think it's an alpha hyd hydroxy acid um, which tend to be quite mild but it's still a bit astringent for me and then I've got um, a juicy peach bath bar and I think I got this from the range and that was that was nice I was able to use that a couple of times then from home bargains I've got some of my hair trapped in this I've got body and soul golden glow which as you know if you've watched any videos is one of my favorites and it comes up time and time again that is lovely I do get quite a lot of baths out of that and then I've got a few items here which I got around 18 months ago in a sale it's Aromatherapy Associates and this is the Rose Indul Indulgent Body Cream. And it's it has a quite it it's not a sweet rose, it's quite an old-fashioned rose. Um and I think quite unisex because it's not particularly sweet. Um it's a lotion type cream, so it's quite thin, uh, but it's very, very moisturizing. But these are expensive. So um I think these are around 50 or 60, maybe 65 pound. Um, it is, they are expensive for 200 mil. I think it's 200 mil. It's the standard pot that they have them in. Sometimes you'll get sample sizes, but this is the full size and I got it in a set. So I got that and then I got a scrub. Now the scrub was slightly pinky in hue and quite gritty um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I, same scent as the body lotion um, I use this up quicker but I'm pleased to get that out of the collection I'm glad that I've used it I would gladly have it again um, if I got a set uh, now I did use another item with it which is the rose shower and bath oil and what they suggest you do with the oils from Aromatherapy uh, Associates is you rub it onto your chest area and then you can inhale the fragrance um, I use it and then I rinsed it out so I need liquid in there it's just a bit of water really nice really strong i've tried a lot lots of different rose oils and this and these are the strongest that i've tried but then this this tiny size is 12 pound and you'd only get about three baths out of that i think it's a cap full at a time then i've got three items that i'm discarding i've never used them i think i've had them a while certainly in the last couple of years and they are eyebrow pens and it's called brow artist expert from l'oreal and I got two blondes and a taupe, but they're all too dark for me. And they've started to come up, but they're just too dark. Um, and these were the lightest. So this is the blonde, and I will show you. That's quite dark, that's blonde. And then I'll show you the taupe. So I don't know why I got them. I mean, I, there wasn't a sampler there, so I just picked them up, and it was three for two. So this is the taupe that's so that's the taupe and that's the blonde the bottom looks near black so really not suitable uh, for me then i've got another salt by c and spa watermelon absolutely lovely again the big crystals i do have a lot of baths and then i've got another this is the final item that came in the aromatherapy aromatherapy associates kit and it is a comb which I used in the bath uh, when I've conditioned my hair just to actually run through the strands and the can you see I've lost quite a few of the teeth so I actually got a new comb from uh, a pretty little thing box and I'm using that one at the moment it's a plastic tortoiseshell type and I'm using that in the bath but it's a big wide tooth comb so it doesn't pull the hair then I have this I got from an advent calendar and it is Emma Hardy's Moisture Boost and Vitamin C Cream. It's a lovely day cream. I'm not sure how much vitamin C it has, um, maybe not a lot, but it was a lovely day cream that moisturised very well. I think it would be suitable for all skin types. Um, then I have an item that I've used up in a project pan and it's the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Uh, by benefit and this is a mini and it's in 3.5 and um, I preferred just to go up to three but I could make that work and see if there's any I can get out right 
So this is a medium brown and can you see it's lighter than the other two that I've tried on but this is still dark but I have used this up and it'll probably feature again in a in um, if I haven't already mentioned it in, in the project pan I don't think I have because this is before I've recently just finished it in the last week or so. Then I have um, an eye serum which I love. I got this from TK Maxx but it's, it's by Lange Paris and I'm, this is a wonderful, wonderful serum that looks like a, sy a syringe. You get two of them in a kit. I got this for around, certainly under £30 for the two. And they retail, I think, around £124, something like that. Um, love it. If I could get it again, it was a bargain. I would pick these up. It was just so fine. It really did help with the, the tone of the eyes and help. I don't have puffiness, but it did help with wrinkles and it was just so gentle. It didn't, um, it wasn't too heavy for the eyelids. Absolutely love this. You can use it on its own or add cream. I tended to add, add a little bit of cream on top, but I could use it all over the eye, all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I have a, Bram, a Bramley and this is a bath oil and it is a citrus one. And it's, oh, it's really gorgeous. It has lemon, it has all the citrus fruits in, absolutely gorgeous. I would put a capful at a time so it does last a few baths, but it does soften the water and soften the skin. So I do have more, thankfully. I think this is the second or third that I've used. Absolutely love it. Then I have a Bree, Bees Brilliance. This is from Australia and it's a honey mask. Uh, I cut it up, got it all out. Um, it's 30 mil, but you, you don't get a lot of uses because it's very sticky, the honey. So um, you need quite a bit to go onto the face, but it is uh, moisturising. Um, so it says it's hydrating treatment mask for dry and sensitive skin types. So I have sensitive skin and it was fine for me. And um, then, no, that's something else. Then, let me just see what else I've got here. I have a Philog Time Filler Eyes, and that is a white cream gel, and um, and that was that la a little lasted a long time. You did a tiny, tiny like a rice amount for t that would cover both eyes, and so this uh, lasted a long time. It's just a sample, and it was four mil, and I would use this. It was a, it's a really nice product. I do like Philog, and they're available at Marks and Spencers, I believe. Then I have a YSL Pure Shot Night. Serum Reboot by Yves Saint Laurent. I got this in a gift we purchased with some other items from, I don't know if it's Cult Beauty or one of the other online stores. And I've used it all. It lasted me a couple of weeks. And it is a serum -y oil, but you can use it as a first step after toning. And it doesn't stop other products uh, sinking into your skin, if you know what I mean. But I did like it. Is it my favourite? No, but it was fine. Um... I'm glad to have tried it and I've just got a few more products I have a pixie by Petra um, a concealer or, or, or color corrector and that's in the in the fair one which is actually quite a dark peach uh, it took me a while to use up it's very very firm it's still available so it must be a popular item and it is quite good if a little drying it's not the most it, it can settle into creases but it is good at lightening up the face around the eyes because I have can you see that's my natural colour because I'm filming this at the end of the day and concealer and colour corrector has worn away so um, yeah I do I do need every bit of help I can get around with these eyes so I've got another little serum which I used of an evening because what happens to have a bath and um, mid evening and then I would put um, some more moisturizers on and then I put my night system on when I go to bed so I use this um, just after my bath and it was from Kiehl's, what does it say? Powerful Power Strength Line Reducing Serum. So I just put that into the lines a little tiny bit. It, it warmed the skin up. Where, where it contacted, it did make the skin feel very warm. No irritancy though. So I like that. Whether I use it or not, I don't know. Because I'm not sure about this. The, these line correctors. I don't... You don't put them on the face, face and go, oh, that's wonderful. Because they're supposed to be temporary. So you think they would fill out and then or the lines you think, oh, they've gone. They don't really do a lot for me, but maybe it's about me finding the right one. Then I have a lipstick, a Sweet as Honey by Lipstick Queen. They have gone as a company. So it's down to the plastic and I do not dig in. I could use a brush, but I don't dig in. So that one is an empty. 
and then I've just got a couple of other things. I've got two by the same company, Matisse of France, and I think they're available, or they were available through Sephora, um, but they are a good company, and uh, that that is a, a gel, a white gel, that is a hyaluronic acid based gel, so I use that after my bath, and I've used both of them up this month, but they're only a few mil, I think about five five mil it says so i managed to get them both used up and then finally um this this is an item which is, is in my project pan i haven't shown it yet but basically it is my um guerlain uh it's like a gold champagne eyeliner it fell out the very last bit was trying to um about a week ago I was, I was trying to sharpen it and basically it, it fell out it was at the very very end there's only a tiny tiny bit and um so that's it so i'm moving on to another eyeliner which i've got on today which is more of a peach based bisque sort of thing so yeah they're all the empties um and hopefully next month well i'll try and come and complete the empties maybe a bit earlier uh maybe around the 21st to the 25th something like that um if not it might get into early july or i might put two months together and that's because i'm going into hospital um later uh, later on this month and so i'm not sure i well i, I don't think i will be up to filming because i'm having uh, surgery on my knees so i'm not sure how i'm going to be able to sit without my knees sticking out in front of me but I'm sure I can adjust to that. But can I say thank you very much for watching, as I do appreciate your time is valuable. And hopefully I shall see you again in another video. Otherwise, take care of yourselves and bye for now.